Hey there you, welcome back to another video. My name is Brian Nestline. I am a psychic clairvoyant oracle card reader. I'm gonna read some cards for you today and you weren't here by mistake. If you're watching this video, these cards, this message is absolutely for you. <laughs> Remember that everything we experience in the world, we are experiencing through our own thoughts, our own emotions, our own physical body, and our own set of understanding, understanding and recognition. So you're only going to hear exactly what you can hear in this moment. This is why every reading is personal to the person watching it. Ooh, it's so good because really you're not going without ever. You have the abundance always there, ripe, ripe for the picking. Mm, spiritual food for me to chew on <laughs> any time of the day or night. You can go anywhere and you'd be able to find what you need in the moment if you set the intention that everything that's happening is communicating information to you. Now you don't have to feel like there's some building you have to go to or mm, some special person you have to go to. Blech. You don't have to go anywhere other than right up here. That's where the ripe fruit grows because that's where you're going to know, know something from the reflections of the things in the world. Look, when you look at this card, you can see the color green. You can see the color red. You can see the highlight white. I'm pointing out things, things that you're aware of, things that you know about. We're using all the words, all the imagery to build a little puzzle of something new for you and me. Are you focused in on the yellow? What's that, Brian? The yellow is the joy. It's way out in the distance on the card. What does that mean? Well, it means that joy is coming for you in the future, out in the distance. Also, it means that right now you're not so connected to the joy, the joy of life. It's out in the distance. Look at all the purple. Look at crescent moon. What does that mean, Brian? <laughs> it means I'm going to sing another tune, right? But really, the purple's coming down. It's coming down from the stars. You can see it in here. Just like these ripe fruits are coming down for us to pluck and use. The purple is the wisdom, the wise mind that is you. Saying that it's a ripe time for you to make wise decisions about all of these departments of your life. There's your relationships. There's your career. There's your finances. There are the personal things that you do with yourself. Self-care, self-interest. Oh, and look, here's one that's coming down. It fell off the tree. What's that one going to be? Well, that's up to you to see. This is the one where you make the puzzle of your life make sense. Makes sense. Let's look at the next card and you'll see what I mean. We're talking about making sense out of something. We're talking about taking the response ability to say what it feels like and means to us. And that is true service to ourself. You're going to go up there and you're going to make the meaning out of the purple. See that wisdom? See the wisdom uh, pajamas that she's wearing? Here you are tending to this part of yourself, the wise part of yourself, to give it some type of meaning, serving yourself, not in a selfish, oh, oh, he's serving himself. Oh, oh, he's taking from everyone. No, no, there's nothing but an abundance. There's nothing but God. There's nothing but one power expressing itself in the world now and forever. And you're just an expression of God in the world. And look, everyone else is the same way too. You have the yellow hair here. That means you're like an angel of God sparked up, serving yourself. Meaning just like serving your personal life, going into your personal life, which is sometimes looking like it's ill. Eh, it's not really. It's just looking like it's dead or dying. Eh, it's not really dead or dying. Not literally. It's just a non-material thing out there. It's the... It's the unembodied material world of your personal life. And it's up to you to bring all of the good energy into the fruits 
of those parts of your life. We are the ones with the yellow hair, with the yellow halo. We are the angels on earth. You're the spirit of Christ, of God, of whatever, of light, of life. And you are putting into, look, you can see the little yellow here. She's putting into herself, her mortal self, the spirit or meaning, the words and the light of God so that <laughs> she can do something in the world serving God to the world, serving the fruits of God. What are the fruits? They're your words. They're your actions. They're the scenarios that you create for the people around you. Oh, yeah. You're in a relationship. You let somebody else know how their behavior is affecting you. You're putting a fruit out there for them to pluck and eat and learn and become wiser. What? You're an artist. You paint a painting. You put it into the world. Oh, look, artists painted these cards. You're an artist. You paint a painting. You put it into the world. What? What happens? Other people see that painting. Their lives are affected by it because they interact with it. They interpret it. You're bringing fruit into the world. You're letting people get out of the cage that they're in. Understanding. You're bringing understanding. Elements that they can understand. Somebody brought a picture of this card here. They brought a bird. They brought a cage. They brought a piece of the bar missing so that we could understand freedom. They also brought, look, all of the little symbols of the yellow angels. Here we are again. Yellow angel bird, yellow angel bird, yellow angel bird. We're all free. We're all angels. We're all birds flying out of the cage of this material world. You're not trapped in this world. It is a playground of blue. What's the blue? That is the throat chakra, the communication. It's a playground for you to communicate with words and with emotion so that you can use love words and emotion, light, love and light, words and emotion to create understanding, <laughs> to stand underneath something, to stand underneath what? To stand underneath this ripe, ripe tree of fruit falling down for you and me. Serve yourself by treating yourself in a way that allows you to create who you are through the actions, through the meanings. Validate yourself. Be yourself. Nothing compares to you. <laughs> You're the only one who can be the you of the world that you see. You're the only one that can bring into this place the eternity, light, love. You are free. Free to be yourself. And you have to be. There's no one else you can be. Fall off the tree, the tree of love. Fall off the tree of light from above. Let the world chew on your thoughts, on your words, on your actions, your light, your love. Oh, we're so goody, good, good. Now we're seeing this. We are seeing that each one of us is an immaculate expression of God in the world. I mean, come on. Could it get any better than that? What are you looking to hear here? You're the one who is making the meaning out of everything that's happening. What are you willing to believe in? Are you going to go the distance? Can you see the bigger picture? Will you make it through the mask? When are you going to take off this mortal face of non-existence and put on that rainbow light? Put on that colorful, you know it's right, that colorful expression of God in the world. You're bringing the light into the world, into this dark, dead world of nothing, which is always constantly changing and decaying anyway. What? Look at my face. It's right here. It's not real. It's just a mask. Every message really is to help you to wake up to knowing your true identity, which is not this, to knowing that you are this diamond of God reflecting billions and billions of little iterations of words and emotions in the world, in the world. Ugh. No one's going to compare to you. They can't. <laughs> what is there really to do? Well, I'll tell you. Basically, you're going to need to follow your inspiration, your inner space, your intuition. If you follow your intuition, you're going to get little inklings, little nudges 
little knowings of what is joyful to you. Look at all the birds flying free. There you are. You're there with you, with me, with everyone. Look at how you go, how you soar, how you are a human in the world. You've embodied. You are free. Go and surrender to the joyful things you love to do. I love reading cards. I love singing songs. I love saying hello every morning. Is that wrong? I like being Brian. I'm the only one who can. But I know that I am free just like you. That's so beautiful. It's oh, it's so. Oh, it's a dance of light. It's there's the sun. There's the sun. There's the light. On her head, on her dress, on her halo, her wings, on her joy, her graceful, her leap of faith to joy. To joy. And where is she? Where is she going? Boom. Here she is as that ripe gift to the world. You are a gift to the world. Oh yeah, you know it's true. If you can feel the spine vibrations, that little vibration, the energies that are being created by looking at all of these things. Oh, let's take one last card for this reading. The reading is just a reading. It's just a chunk of information and emotion that's expressed. It's an energy exchange. It's not a test. The world's not a test. There is no real right or wrong. Now wait, don't rob a bank. No, 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 that's wrong. Look, don't hurt anybody on purpose or even by accident, right? Don't do it. I'm telling you, there is right and wrong. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the spiritual card reading. This is a spiritual dimension, meaning that everything is a variety, a variety, mother healing. How is this going to happen? Simple. You're going to realize that the mother is the light, the light that wants to be in the world. And it wants to come into the world and it uses us as the children of it. You are a child of the light, a child of God. Your mother is healing when you know that everything you say and do, every movement you make, every little relationship you have, every word you share is really a creative expression of the mother giving birth into the world. As your feelings towards your mother heal, meaning as you recognize that you are the light, you're not going to fight the light anymore. You're not going to say, well, I'm separate from the light or mm, the light is not a real thing. No, you're going to heal from that. Why? Because, <laughs> because <laughs> when we do, our desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. And that's what we really want. We want our preferences to come to pass in the world, like the waves on this ocean coming up to the shore. We want the light to come rolling in to the world. And here it is. You see it rolling in and we want it to embody. We want it to become a human body. We want it to become a living thing. We want it to become a free spirit that can be understood. A thing in the world that people can use. A thing that comes from that rainbow white place through the mask of our personal self into duality. A thing that is a ripe piece of fruit that is falling from the tree. And we're reborn as this fruit over and over and over and over again. A billion times a day, every word and thing you think and say is all the fruit of God of life coming through this world. Everybody is doing pretty darn good if you think about it because that is who we boom, 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 boom are, that passionate fruit of God. And there it is. Once it falls to the ground, they all start to grow. Once they fall to the ground, they all grow up and they are all embodied with that hue of that rainbow flavored new material world root chakra, the passion, the vibration, the thing that brings us back to life over and over and over again, the rebirth. Enjoy your day. Like this channel, share the channel, give me a comment, let me know what's going on or whatever. Have fun interpreting your reality in a way that is worthwhile. Have fun being yourself, playing the role of you in the world because <laughs> it's a gift. It's a gift from God to be born into the world, to do all of the stuff we're doing, whether it's positive or negative, up or down, whether you have a lot or a little or whatever the sound is coming out of your mouth. Enjoy riding the waves of that one white bright light, that one God that is expressing itself through 7 billion different people. Enjoy the duality destiny that you've arrived at, that you've made it to, that you have succumbed or bow down to the fact that you are an immaculate light having a human experience 
in the world. Take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.